constructively collaborate with colleagues around the country and around the world to successively improve the outcomes for kids with cancer. And so I want to show this simply because in acute lymphoblastic leukemia, if you were diagnosed in 1968 to 1970, you had a less than 10% chance of surviving. Um, and in fact, the first known survivor of childhood ALL is actually now a 60-something year old elementary school teacher um, who lives in Pennsylvania. Um, and she was diagnosed in 1968 when the odds were really pretty poor that somebody would survive this disease. And every couple of years, every sort of generation of clinical trials that we've been able to do for childhood cancer, we've been able to...